Happy 2024. I hope everybody is ready, excited, and off to the races. And as most people do, as is most tradition, people do or make their New Year's resolutions. The major three resolutions for the year is always lose weight, make more money, and be more focused or more disciplined. We make all these resolutions, all these promises we give to ourselves. Because that's basically what the resolution is. It's always about improving something in our lives, right? Most oftentimes by the seventh day, by the 10th day, sometimes by the, the ones that make it to the second week, we oftentimes have forgotten about the resolution. Nobody is even talking about it. You're back to the grind. You're back to the way things are the way things are, used to be. Why does this happen? We become comfortable. It's called habits. Another speaker will say is paradigm. Bob Proctor talks about paradigm. Paradigm is nothing but a collection of a mult, mult habits. Those habitual behavior is the essence of what we call life, what we call character, what we call personality. I'll break it down here. Habits, the law of increase says that you sow an act, you reap a habit. When you sow a habit, you reap a character. When you sow a character, you reap a destiny. So basically, destiny is the unconscious thoughts, things that people do. And if it is positive, we say it is destiny. If it is negative, we say it is fate or misfortune. But the reality is that we create our own destiny. We create our, the, what we call destiny. And the minute you become aware and acknowledge and accept this in its totality, that we create our reality the outcome of our life is based on me, the individual, how I think, what I do with the thoughts that come to me. The minute we accept full responsibility for this, that is growth. That is maturity. Jim Rome will say that is maturity. Now, this is 2024. By this time next year, 2025, you will either be celebrating whatever you call success, more money, better health, better relationship, better kids, better functioning of your family unit, your better relationship with your coworkers, better relationship with your family, friends, or your neighbors. You'll be celebrating the birth of a child, the buying of a new car, or the loss of a loved one. You'll either be buying a new house or losing a current house or old house, buying a new furniture, losing furniture, getting evicted, getting promotion, getting, you get my point. The course of this year will be exactly the same course as 2023. There will be highs and the lows. The tide of the wave will go up and down. It surely will happen in 2024. The only difference in the outcome of your life in 2024 is what you do with what life throws at you. To think that nothing negative would happen in 2024 is naive. To think that everything that happens to you in 2024 is controlled by circumstances, by outward environment, by the government, by my family, by what he did, what she did, how my boss responded, what my neighbor said to me, what that man on the street, how he crossed me. To put the blame on somebody or any other person outside of us is to be naive. Now, the outcome of 2024 is going to be controlled 100% by you, by me. And taking full responsibility of this thought of this reality is growth, is 
becoming an evolved human being. That is the kind of people that I'm looking for. I'm not looking for supporters. I'm not looking for people to like my page, to necessarily subscribe to my, what I do. I'm looking for people who are enlightened. Enlightenment comes from enhancing your perception. When you enhance your perception, you become enlightened. When you become enlightened, you have enhanced your perception. So the thing that will make the difference in 2024, this time next year, 2025, the only thing that we can hold on to, that we can count on, that we know for a fact, a reality that will make the difference is our perception. What we do with what life throws at us, our awareness, our thought process, our interpretations or response to the reality that life will throw at us of all the actions, activities that will happen in 2024, how we respond to it is what's going to make the major difference in how your life turns out, what your results are in 2024. Thank you very much. This is Ike Onoha. And as it's nice sharing this thought, call it an ideology, call it the philosophy, whatever you call it, that's fine. I am more than happy to share ideas with you. So if you have questions regarding a relationship, philosophy, desire, life, work, how to get along with coworkers, how to decide and choose a career, how to know my purpose, what my purpose is, what is religion, what is prayer, whatever questions you have. I think next time I should talk about scientific prayer, what prayer is. Because to know what prayer is, you also have to know what prayer is not. And knowing the difference between prayer and scientific prayer makes a difference in how you respond to things. Prayer is nothing but begging God for things. What you don't have, what you want to have. Basically, that's how the general masses look at prayer. Asking is always about asking for what you don't have, what you want to have, what you desire, what you want. But the reality is that prayer shouldn't just be that. Prayer is a gratitude, a state of mind where you are open to what is now, what is happening in your life, everything that is happening in your world, being conscious and present. Prayer is acknowledging, affirming, receiving and expressing joy, expressing happiness, expressing gratitude. That word gratitude most times is often misunderstood, but gratitude is basically just being here now and looking at the angle that everything that is happening in my life right now is for my own good, is for my own good. Always look at the right side of everything that happens to you right now. That is gratitude. Anyways, the dictionary defines prayer. If you type in the word prayer in a dictionary, I think it will say something like prayer is a solemn request for help or expressions of thanks addressed to God or an object of worship. That is the general definition of uh, prayer in, in the dictionary. Another definition is that prayer is a complete change in the appearance or character of something or someone, especially so that thing or person is improved. That is prayer. And let me define scientific prayer. Uh, this is also in the dictionary, but you Google the word scientific prayer, it says scientific prayer affirmations that you can use to train your subconscious mind to guide your actions, behaviors, and even your personal health. And I add to that your personal wealth, money, job, income, popularity, mental health, anything you try to improve, add it to that. Pray, scientific prayer is affirmations that you can use to guide your 
or to train your subconscious mind. There are a lot of factors here. Okay. One is you are using affirmations. Affirmations are positive words, things that agree with what you want. I am, I will, I can. See those words that are in the present and positive and empowering. I can do this. I will be there. I will show up. I can. So when you speak to yourself from these words and you repetition of these words is the one of the three ways that this thing gets into your subconscious mind. And your subconscious is nothing other than your seat of power. That's where all the habits and all the paradigm, all the actions come from. When things get into your subconscious mind, that is when you know it to the point where you don't have to be conscious for it to happen. That's basically what subconscious means. Scientific prayers are affirmations that can, that you can use to train your subconscious mind to guide your actions, your behavior, and even your personal health, money, popularity, whatever you desire. I will talk about this another time. I just wanted, I don't know how I got up into prayers and uh, all this stuff. But anyways, happy new year, happy 2024. By this time next year, there will be a lot of changes. There'll be a lot of improvement because your awareness has changed, right? Your perception has changed, right? Your response to life has changed, right? All right. 2024 is an amazing, wonderful, fantastic year. Have a good day. Thank you. So subscribe, share, like this video and uh, listen to my podcast. I have tools that you can use to reprogram your subconscious mind. And once your subconscious mind is reprogrammed, things begin to happen like clockwork, like synchronicities begin to take place that you will be like, how is all this good stuff happening in my life? How is, why am I getting so, so much blessing? Why am I getting this promotion, promotion at work? Uh, there's just stuff happening and it's, that's what we call miracles. Miracles begin to happen from everywhere. So share, subscribe and see you on my next podcast.